If you want a strong and affordable carbon fiber tripod, has high end functions, lightweight, and is alternative to the Peak Design Travel Tripod, then consider the Ulanzi Zero Y Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. In this video, we'll go over the reasons why I decided to pick this tripod up for my day-to-day -day use, my traveling, and trying to get my best bang for buck. All right, so let's take a look. This is coming from a perspective of never owning a carbon fiber tripod and the pros and cons of purchasing something like this. Okay, so I've had this tripod for a couple months now and I've used it for majority of all my work. I brought it with me for uh, different shoots, for traveling, for day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, so I have a pretty good understanding of why you would want to pick something like this up for this price. All right, let's talk tech specs. Let's get the obvious one out of the way, the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Comes around $800 for the carbon fiber one. There's also an aluminum one that comes around $500. And there's another company I was looking at, a Mi Photo. It's pretty common and it comes around $300. The Ulanzi Zero Wide Travel Tripod comes around $370 Canadian. And that's pretty good in comparison to the other tripods in this range. I did pay a travel fee, so let's just round that to like $400 Canadian. So when I purchased this tripod, I actually got gifts with it. And I don't think it was part of the thing, but it was, I guess it was a promotion. And I got... Yeah, let me get it. So I got this phone stand that also came with the tripod. It has two cold shoes that you can put on it. Uh, it's made of all metal. Uh, it's pretty good in construction wise. And there's a lot of ports on this, so it's pretty good. I really like it. It's, it's a nice addition to for paying this price, the premium price, I guess. And I also got this mouse pad, which I'm not sure if I would ever use this, but it's nice to, you know, get a little treat. The tripod also comes with this bag and it's uh, pretty nice has a couple strap holders here, right? The long strap that you can put over your shoulder, right? Pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure when I would use this. Normally for the tripod, I just put it in my bag or in the water bottle holder and I kind of just like slip it in there or I'll just carry it, right? I don't want to put another thing into another thing and it's just like too much to carry. So this is nice for storage. Maybe if I was traveling and I just wanted to put it in a suitcase, uh, that's kind of cool, but yeah, it's nice. It's pretty good. Next. So the tripod weighs around 2.2 pounds. The max load it can hold is around 40 pounds, which is pretty good. Uh, everything's really nice with build quality, carbon fiber legs. Uh, I like the latches, really good quality. The only thing that kind of caught my mind was on the website, it said the middle column is made of plastic. Uh, it could be made of plastic. I'm not sure, to be honest. It kind of feels like metal, but uh, it's, probably, it's probably plastic. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty high quality. Pretty good. Okay, so let's talk about the dimensions of the tripod. It comes around 12 inches closed and maybe 61 inches when it's fully open. That's with the middle column. So fully closed, it kind of looks like the size of a subway sub, you know, not bad. <laughs> so there's five levels of height adjustment. So there's the four on the bottom, right? And then we have the fifth one, which is the middle column that goes all the way up. Whoa, not bad, pretty good. So it also comes with tripod spikes, which is a pretty good add-on for this price. Uh, especially if you do like a lot of landscapes or maybe you like on the beach or you want something more solid on the ground, you can just uh, remove the attachment on the bottom, put the tripod spikes, good to go. So for the tripod legs, we have three standard angles. We have the 25 degrees. So this is like 25, pretty regular, pretty standard, right? And then we have the 55, which is kind of like mid. So you can kind of see that there, right? And then we have the final one, which is 75. So it's like pretty low, right? Pretty good, pretty good. So one of the main reasons why I bought this tripod was the center column. It's actually removable. So you can just remove the wrench here, right? And then from here, you can actually just remove the center column completely. So that's really nice. They have a bunch of accessories that you can customize with this. You can either, you know, make this longer, you can make it shorter if you like, and you can change the head. So right now this is a regular ball head, but if you really want to, you, they have a fluid head for a video and it actually comes with a quick release head. This wasn't available to me when I purchased this tripod, but I'm still considering to see if it's worth it. I'll probably talk more about it later in this video. So let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea to purchase for this tripod. So with this tripod, you also have a hook in the middle column. So it's nice to put weight on it. So if you want to hook like a bag or if you have like sandbags or something, um, maybe you just want to put more weight on it. That's great. The only thing about this, I feel like it doesn't really do much unless you have the tripod very high. And at that point, if it's not close to the ground, I'd probably buy like an extension to put the bag or if you have weight a little bit lower to the ground. Because if you had the column all the way up, for example, 
and you have the weight right here, it's still gonna topple over, right? We wanna kinda put the weight more in the middle or even like lower to kinda balance it out from the top. So yeah, I'd probably buy like an extension or maybe like a, you can put like a hero clip or something like that just to make the bag a little lower if it doesn't fit your needs, right? So that's pretty cool. That's a really nice addition to this tripod. And with this hook, you can remove it and it's like a secret compartment. You screw it and it's a little wrench. So it's nice to tighten any of the parts on the tripod if you need to, or this actually fits kind of like a lot of plates and everything like that. So it's really nice. Go, 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 go. Another feature about this tripod is the low mode. Again, we're talking about the middle column, but it's very versatile and you can remove it to go into underslung mode and that's going into low mode, right? So if I get it through here, right? So like, just imagine your camera upside down, right? So you can get that pretty low if you want to do stuff like beat shots or maybe if you want to do more landscape, but, but get that low angle. This is a really nice addition for this tripod, especially A, the price, B, the size, and C, the weight. So you get a lot of versatility with this tripod and um, a lot of functions with it. So really nice. So there's another thing I want to mention. This takes a lot of inspiration from the Peak Design Travel tripod uh, and the fact that the middle column, when it's fully closed and fully down, it goes into itself a bit more. So it gives it that compact size, right? Whereas like most maybe travel tripods in this price range comes like a little bit higher. So it's a little bit tall. Not that it's a, you know, like make or break type of thing, but it's a really innovative design and probably took it from Peak Design, but uh, it's really nice that most of these companies now are trying to see the benefits of what they can do with tripods now, right? Okay, so for these tripod legs, they have the latch system. And again, it's like when you open it, it extends the legs, right? Really quick, really nice. And then when you want to close it, the latch is closed, right? I'm a really big fan of the latch system because I want to confirm that I'm locking it and I'm closing it, like I'm fully closing it. Whereas the, some of the other tripods have the circular one or like the rotating one. And sometimes you just don't have a good grip and you may not be closing it all the way or it might get loose. I just feel like the latch system has a good lock, right? And it's like fairly quick, especially when you want to open all the legs. When you have the rotating one, you have to like do individual. You might not get them all. They don't open up all the way. But with this tripod, you get all the latches that you can open kind of simultaneously. So you just open them all like this. And you just kind of let it open, right? Very, very quick. And then especially when you want to close it, so you just flip it, right? Closed. And it, all one sequence, right? Boom. Boom. Nice. Nice. So with this tripod, we have really cool ways of opening this up. On the side, we have a latch system right here in the front. And this will raise and lower the middle column, right? To lock the tripod place, we have just a little rotating knob, right? To open and close. So you see that there. To lock it in right there in the middle. For the tilt, we have another latch and you can bring it right there. So this out. And again, you can kind of like rotate it. You can go into like portrait mode uh, and you can kind of get it to the right height and angle that you need, right? And for the pan, we have a little switch here. You can kind of rotate the camera when it's on the tripod. Pretty good, pretty nice. So the current tripod head is the Arca Swiss mount. Uh, pretty common, a lot of camera systems have it. A lot of plates are there. So it just has a rotating knob on the side. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not like probably the, I'm not a huge fan of it, especially just the way it's tiny. It just kind of takes a while, uh, but it's pretty good. It tightens it pretty good. Okay. So I have a Peak Design plate on my camera right now. It fits pretty snug, but it's not standard. There is a plate that comes with it. Um, the Peak Design does fit, but you just have to be secure and make sure it rotates in. So when I bought this tripod a couple months back, I was thinking to myself, man, this could be complete if this had a quick release system and you know, Week later, obviously, when I, after I received this tripod, they come out with the quick release system. So if you're like me and you bought this tripod and you really want that, you can actually get it separately. You can purchase it separately and put it in, in the middle column. So I'm still thinking about it. I'm still considering if I, if I need it. I'm not sure right now, but let me know in the comments if, if you think it's worth the purchase. I really like the quick release system, especially for the peak design stuff. I have the travel clip and like the capture clip kind of just quick, right? So that's nice, but let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Okay, so I wanna talk about some of the cons about this tripod. So this, I have a small rig cage, half cage on this. And you can see since I have the a7 IV, uh, there's a little bit of a, a slit right here in the opening, right? And it's for the swivel screen, right? To come out if you wanna have different angles or whatever, which is fine, it's, it's great. Uh, the old version for the a7 III had it no cutout. It was just kind of full. But the thing is, for mine, it has the slit 
but it doesn't lock in all the way for the tripod. So this was one time when I was trying to put the camera on via the side mount. It doesn't go all the way. And I didn't know that if you don't put it through the middle and all the way latched. So when you rotate it in, there was a portion of it that's not on the actual locking mechanism and it can fall out. So luckily nothing happened, nothing bad happened. Oh my goodness. There was just something, cause maybe this is not standard size, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit smaller, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so another con was obviously the quick release. Like, man, I wish they had it at the beginning, but I didn't know that obviously. And I was kind of just like, I really like the tripod and there's some things I can live without and the quick release was fine. I was just, I'll just use the system with the rotating knob and that's cool. I, I, I really like this tripod, so. So another con I have with this, it's uh, the middle column is plastic. I kind of wish it was just like metal. It kind of feels like it's metal, but I'm not sure. But that's probably another thing. It's not like a huge deal, but yeah, that's probably one thing I don't like. So another con that I have about this tripod is the bubble leveler. In the middle of the tripod head is the bubble leveler, but the thing is when you have the camera on with the plate, it's covering it. So you want to have the tripod ready to go. You put it down, you set it up and then you put the camera on there. But sometimes things happen when you're moving around and I just want to re-level it again, but my camera's on it and I'm like, oh man, like maybe they just put it on the side or if there's a, a part where maybe there's a second one on the bottom. I think they actually fixed that. I'm not sure. I think if they changed that, that would be pretty good, but it's not like a huge deal. So it's just like a, a minor con that I have about this tripod. So overall, I'm really happy with my purchase. This tripod is really great, super versatile, uh, really budget friendly. I love the price. Uh, the build quality is really great. Never, I've never had a carbon fiber tripod. So just getting this, going from just a regular tripod, like an aluminum one to this is a crazy difference. I just didn't realize the, the weight difference and the size. Uh, which is really nice. So I actually had a travel tripod before. It was like this first version of like the Mi Photo travel tripod. So the reason I purchased this is because the Mi Photo was actually broken. The middle pan uh, locking mechanism doesn't lock anymore. So basically my camera just rotates forever, right? There's no locking. And so having that on set or going on photo shoots was just like a no-go, right? And I do have a Manfrotto tripod, which I'm using right now for uh, my black magic camera so i actually have two heads for this tripod i have a ball head and i have a video head a video head i'm using right now but i don't want to keep switching back and forth from photo video and removing the head and for the weight of what, what i want to do with it, i just wanted to have separate tripods right so i think this was like a really good purchase for me so in summary this is a really high quality tripod it kind of checks all the boxes of what i really need you know the functions the weight the price bang for buck so far i love it and i use it all the time now all right guys what do you think do you think this is the best travel tripod? Do you think this beats the Peak Design travel tripod? Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, so thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if I missed something and let me know if this tripod is probably the best tripod you get for this price. So thanks so much for watching again. Like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you later, all right? Peace out, peace out.